Hi guys, today we're gonna to walk through another um, scenario uh, challenge, free challenge on the Blue Team Labs online. Um, it's it's a network analysis web shell. So let's get started. So this uh, challenge is basically um, just looking for this. Um, Use Wireshark, TCP DOM, and T-Shark. Uh, it's categorized as, as easy. And uh, let's get it started. So first of all, let's download this, um, these files to our to our box. But uh, apparently my apparently my box freezed. Okay. Save this file, and uh, we're gonna to we're gonna just cut it to our desk. Okay, that will be much easier to work with. And we're gonna ex extract the file, and uh, the password is always same. Btlo, right? So. Uh, it is a PCAP file, and uh, I believe I have Wireshark installed. I don't have Wireshark on this host. Come on, man. That is just uh, stupid, man. Okay, I gotta be download the Wireshark very quick, guys. So, um. I have no idea why do I not have this Wireshark on my host. Okay, so let me pause the video very quick and download the Wireshark. All right, guys, we are back. So I installed my Wireshark and uh, let's jump into the videos now. Uh, let's jump back to the challenge. So the first question is, what is IP responsible for conducting the port scan activity? And uh, this one, uh, it is very obvious that we can see that there is, uh, if, we, if we're scrolling down, we see that there's a lot of um, same request, right? So, um, if, if we're looking at all these same requests, we know that uh, it potentially is the attacker used the nmap to, to um, perform the same scan. So um, we, can, we can assure that the IP address is, um, is, uh, um, is uh, 10 .2 .2 .4, um because this IP address initiate this same scan to, to this IP address. And uh, going to the next question, what is the port range scanned by the sus suspicious host? So we wanna looking for the uh, looking for the port range. So so we can looking for the conversation uh, in the Wireshark where you have um, all this um, all this conversation between the endpoints. So, uh, if we look at uh, the TCP, and uh, if we uh, this is our uh, attacker's machine who initiated this scan, so we can sorting the uh, sort and the the destination uh, is is this IP address, and we can uh, sort the sort the uh, port. So we can say it has. It has a lot of uh, traffic goes goes through the port eighty, and we also see um, if we sort it, <clears throat> we can see that the, the the port is going up, and uh, uh, it tells uh, it until uh, port uh, 10, uh 1024 so we know that the range is between 1 to uh, 1024 it's a uh, it's a uh, it's the most common port so uh, I believe that is what the attacker used for the uh, map and uh, the next question is um, 
is what is the type of port scan conducted. So it's obvious that the uh, we have the answer in here. Uh, it is TCP SYN. And the two more tools uh, were used to perform the reconnaissance against open ports. What were they? So uh, I had the answer in here is GoBuster uh, 3.0, uh, 3.0.1, and the SQL map uh, 1. Point, uh, 1, 1.4.7. So how do I find that? So um, for that one, we can looking for the um, we can looking for the HTTP request, right? So you gotta have some filter for that because uh, usually those uh, scanning tools or the SQL map they will have uh, they were making the post request to the to the server, um, so we can filter out the post request. So let's building up this filter. Okay, we have all this um, form over here, and uh, what we are trying to looking at is uh, we can go into the um, HTTP stream, let's see what we can find over here. So we want to check if um, if we can find any user agent, right? So um, let me going back to the questions very quick. SQL map, go buster. Um, It is capture this um this 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 username and the password, but but I didn't see there is if uh, there is any evidence for the uh, for that request. Let's let's also um see if we can see any get request as well. So uh, I need to make sure I add this to the label so I can use it later. So let's go. Because on my notes, I, I said just filter this, but I'm not sure why it's not um, shows right now. It's kind of weird. Interesting. I am pretty sure it is post request because Because you have this username and the password over here, it is, seems like it's trying to um, trying to brute force this form, um, but I'm not sure uh, why is this not working though. Yes, um, so if we go into this um, this uh, hypertext transfer protocol uh, layer over here, we can see that we can. Uh, found that the evidence for the SQL map is actually in the user agent. So uh, we can find that SQL map 1.4.7 was being used. And uh, right now I need to go into find the Go Buster for you guys. So um, Go Buster is basically a, a tool used for uh, scanning the web directory. So let me make sure I add this as a label and uh, I'm going to go into the get requests. 
so we can we can obvious we can see that there is like uh, evidence that shows that the, the web directory was somehow being enumerated so let's check the user agent um, we have this go buster 3.0.1 so we can we can show that this is the tool the attacker used Next question is, what is the name of the PHP file through which the attacker uploaded a web shell? So, um, we, we want to look for the, we want to look for the HTTP post request again. So, uh, let's see what we can find over there. My answer is at profile.php. So what is the name of the PHP file uh, through which the attacker uploaded a web shell? Hmm. I'm pretty sure it is um, in here maybe because this has upload.php though. I'm I'm sure this uh we can actually answer this question right now because we are on that page. So it says what is the name of the web shell that the attacker uploaded? Uh once I open this upload uh HTTP stream, we see that the the file is actually dbfunctions.php, uh it which is a web shell uh shielding here, it's a PHP web shell. Um I need to see where the attacker actually uploaded this uh, web show. It's it's uh, you guys say that it is from the uh, at profile.php. So I just want to see where that is. So um, So on my on my um on my notes it says I need to look in for the HTTP requests um post request so I'm not sure um apparently it is not here so I'm not very sure why it is not there. Uh, you know what? Maybe this is not the. It is not the stream where we should be looking for. Um, it is obviously it is not. Um, it is upload up PHP, but we got this PNG file. Oh yeah, so we got this. Um, here it's used like a PNG, but we see that we have this just before the upload of PHP, we got this uh, PNG uh, post request over here, and we see that um, we see that the the request the the referrer uh, refer referrer uh, actually was points to the add profile PHP, so we know that the attacker um leveraged this uh this this php file to to uh, upload that the web shell to to the web server so that is the answer for for this one and the uh, next question is what is the parameter used in the web shell for executing commands so this one is pretty obvious so once we figure out the uh, we figured out that the uh, the web shell part. We can just looking for the the get requests. We want to see um, we want to see that 
the this part uh, we have uh, db functions .php was being uploaded so the attacker leveraged that web shell trying to ex executing the command on the server so um, so we have um, the, the the parameter is cmd um, this is how the php works so that is answer and what is the first command executed by the attacker so the attacker executed the id uh, which is a Linux command used to gather the the system information of the current user, and uh, the attacker also um, gathered the who am I, which is uh, uh, enumeration. Uh, once the attacker get onto the system, uh, they wants to enumerate and. Uh, uh, potentially the attacker trying to escalate their privilege um, to the root user. So the 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 um, the answer is ID. And uh, what is the type of shell connecting uh, the attacker obtained through the command execution? So for this one, my answer is reverse. So it's a reverse shell. So how do I know that? Um, so we can look in for this part over here that you have you have this um, this shell in here, right? So uh, let me see. Um, I'm just checking my notes. Yes. Yeah, so this is a technique, actually, attacker trying to open a reverse shell once they get onto the server so this is actually a python command uh, the python shell that initiates uh, a reverse shell to um, back to the attacker's uh, machine so the attacker can spawn a full interactive shell uh, if you ever have an experience with the hack the box or any other offensive training you know what I'm talking about. So uh, you should be really familiar with this. And uh, the next question is, what is the port he uses for the shell connection? The answer is 4422. So how do I know that? Uh, it's actually pretty obvious that you see the IP address is 10.251.96.4 and the port number is 4422. So that is for today. And uh, that is for this challenge. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And, uh, and uh, see you guys next time.